away from eight we were only a couple of miles from uh, from our pickup so uh, <clears throat> beautiful sunshine this morning absolutely gorgeous this morning in a half mile take oh, yeah. 24 Kenmore Avenue Sheridan Drive and then turn mm -hmm. to 750 feet remember yesterday it was uh, cloudy and it was raining and stuff like that well, this morning we got beautiful sunshine. But anyways, let's go down there and find out if our load will be ready. Yeah, I would be very happy if it was. Well guys, since we do not have our load yet, uh, we've been sitting here for a good while, I have decided to, well, start cooking me a stew. Yeah, so we're gonna cook us something to eat. I'm getting hungry and no word yet on uh, how long we're going to be sitting there but like i said yesterday i think uh, these loads are usually only ready in the afternoon so i suspect it's going to be no different today so let's get to cooking let's make us a good meal here here we go ladies and gentlemen we are ready to eat oh yeah they just came and told me that the uh, load is ready so we're going to eat here real quick and then we'll get on the road here we go ladies and gentlemen we have now officially gotten our loaded trailer yeah i left here a few minutes ago we're still in the buffalo area but uh we are making our way out of buffalo now that's right yeah 43 000 pounds in the box it's going to be a heavy one. Take you at 62 North. Which I'm not going to be complaining too much about. The reason being is uh, it is fairly windy up here. It's like 35 mile an hour wind up here. So it's pretty windy. That's for sure. So once we get out there on the open road. Uh, Speed warning. We're probably going to feel that wind come across the road. Yep. But uh, yeah, we do have a heavy load, but that's all right, I guess. Yeah, we're going to try and scale it somewhere yet before we... Uh, In 0 0.2 miles, take US 62 North, and then take the entrance yeah. to the right. In 0 0.3 miles. Before we uh, get all the way out in the middle of nowhere and before we start hitting scales, right? In a quarter of a mile, take the entrance to the right on right. 290 West. Although there ain't that many scales out here in this area, but there is a few DOT scales out there. But yeah, that's what they were saying. It's supposed to be crazy windy up here today. That's okay, I guess. As long as it doesn't get 100 miles an hour, road, we'll be okay, right? Miles. That's what I hope, anyways. So let's get on down the road and see what else kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Yeah, I'm uh, sitting there half a day now, which we suspected that I was going to happen, but. I got the load earlier than I originally thought I was going 
good. So we'll see how far we can make it tonight. That's right. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow us over. You can probably hear or see or whatever. It's shaking my cap. Yep. Oh, looks like we got a smoky bear over there. He pulled somebody over. Yeah, all the way there on the left side or something. Yeah, he's got himself a capture. Oh well. He's probably going too fast through this area. Or texting, who knows? That happens sometimes too. People are texting and driving. Yeah. Other than that, we do have beautiful sunshine out there today. We're gonna enjoy that, that's for sure. Alrighty, let's get into this lane. There's a couple of people that want to get onto this road. Because that Toyota there is going a little slower. Or he was. He's still going slower than me, so we'll try and get around him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are just coming through the toll booth up here. We're going to be going through... Uh, city is or New York is, state is almost behind us yeah that's right we are going to be entering Pennsylvania here very soon it is still very very windy out here but uh, we got to continue cruising along we want to get anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go up here to uh, exit 35 in Pennsylvania. And then I think we'll uh, exit over there and go to the TA up there. And we'll go scale this rascal. We'll go find out how heavy we are. Yeah the plan anyways hopefully this wind will die down tonight and we won't have this crazy wind tomorrow it's really annoying being so windy plus you use a lot of fuel too you know I did so good on fuel coming this way you know coming up here to Buffalo I haven't fueled yet since I left home I'm still going <laughs> uh, but we will have to fuel up today, that's a given. No two ways about it. That's right. Oh yeah, this is where that scale is. I knew there was a scale uh, either coming into Pennsylvania or Ohio. I wasn't sure which one, but it uh, looks like they're, they're closed today, so we're lucky. We don't have to go in there today. Especially since we don't know exactly what our weight is. Crossing border, entering Pennsylvania. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to Pennsylvania, everybody. But Pennsylvania is not a very white state up here in uh, this stretch where I'm going through. It is wider uh, further east, but up this stretch, it is only like, well, it's a mile marker 45 right here. So, uh, I guess it's only 45 miles or something like that. We'll be through Pennsylvania. Yeah. So, let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty guys and gals, I got out my uh, microphone with my case and everything. But before I tell you what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you my uh, scale ticket. I am perfectly fine to be able to fuel up. You got 32,380 uh, 30, uh, 32, pounds on the uh, drives, 30,840 on the trailer, 11,540 on the steering, 
so we are good to fuel can you guys hear that that wind noise can you guys hear that that's the reason why I brought this thing out today is a perfect day to get this bad boy tested I put the dead cat on it and I don't know if you can hear it but it is crazy windy out there I was just looking at it on my uh, program here on my phone let's take a look it's showing me it's 59 kilometers an hour gusting so let's see if we can uh, change those settings into uh, Fahrenheit and let's see what that will do that shows us it's 37 miles an hour wind gust so let's go outside and let's do a little bit of a test with this microphone and what I'll do is I'll plug in the microphone first I'll turn it on plug it in and we'll do a little bit of a test with them uh, with the dead kit on it and then I'll unplug the microphone and I'll give you guys the rundown and see what it sounds like so let's get to it alrighty guys here we are we are out here in the wind I'll do a little bit of a spin around so that the uh, mic can actually pick up the actual wind I hope you guys can see <laughs> it's funny how these hairs go in the wind and all that you know but uh, yeah there's a guy out there with his dogs but yeah let's get that mic in that wind and let's see how good this hair is going to be able to uh, block all of that wind so let's take off the mic and let's see what the difference is going to be let's give that a try here on the count of one two three here we go so there you go guys I don't know if you won't be able to hear me but uh, get that but we'll see 
we'll see I suppose we'll know when it hits us right that's what I always say but yeah here we are putting the hammer down and uh, getting some miles in finally well this is actually a very nice trip I still have 1800 miles left to go to Alberta yet so we got for sure three more full days of running mind you if we go a little bit past Cleveland uh, Cleveland it will be a little easier but uh, but yeah we'll be in uh, in Madison at Alberta by Sunday afternoon late afternoon probably that's what I'm thinking right now I think we got about another two hours maybe to Cleveland maybe not maybe a little less but somewhere around there I don't know exactly how far it is yet but I guess we'll find out well guys I am very surprised on how good the traffic is up here in Cleveland today I mean yeah it's a little bit after six o'clock already but uh, still it's moving very good I haven't had to slow down at all yet at all you know like that's very possible you know that you have to slow down in these areas up here man that sun is bright today yeah starting to shine into my camp <laughs> but i much rather take that than snow right but anyways i would just figured i would uh show you guys a little bit of the traffic up here today it's very smoothly smooth ride today just cruising right through here I'm already on 480 and uh, just cruising right along but usually the way it works is as soon as I say that it slows right down <laughs> we'll see if that's the case today I hope not I hope not well, we'll see. Yeah, a little bit of clouds up there in the air, but doesn't look like anything to be worried about right now. And it also feels like that the wind has slowed down a little bit. It really does feel like that. Doesn't feel nearly as windy as what it was earlier. That is a good thing, though very happy about that that's for sure so let's get on down the road and uh, see what we'll be able to show you well guys we are done for today we have made it a good ways past our uh, Cleveland yes that's what our uh, goal was right yeah now we are at the uh, Petro here and I uh, believe it's Prairiesburg, Ohio, right off the uh, turnpike here. And we are all done for today. Yeah, I'm happy we got this far. I think we only got like 1,670 miles to go to our delivery, so we can do that no problem in three days. So that's fantastic. So we're going to close the show right here. I hope you and guys enjoyed today's vlog and we'll be back tomorrow we got some good videos coming up here I'm pretty sure of that so uh, stick around and we'll see you then hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel right there in that corner over there we would appreciate that give us a thumbs up and hey share the video a lot of people are not doing that so would you mind please share the video on your social media sites that gets people to watch more of my videos so uh, if you did that we uh, want to say thank you we appreciate that and with that being said have a good day everybody and we'll catch you on the next one trucker rudy signing out <laughs>